Hi guys, uh, welcome to today's video. Today we will learn about motion tracking. So in a lot of videos you might have seen that while the video is playing or something in the video is moving, there is some kind of text that is floating along with it or just to show the description of something or a name of something or whatever is in the video. We can know how to do it very easily in very less amount of time. I can teach you in just five minutes how to do it. So just follow with me the steps and it's pretty easy to do. So let's uh, start with it. Suppose this is the video. Let's remove the tracking over here. Okay. So over here, what you just need to do is that I just deleted the tracking that was present over here. Just need to select any clip that you want to uh, start the motion tracking with. Just click over here and find the motion tracking over here. You can easily find it. Then uh, this kind of uh, year will box will appear. What you just need to do is that you just need to adjust according to whatever thing that you want to track. You just need to adjust it according to that. It's pretty done. Now you just have to do is that click to start motion tracking. So let's do with it. So it will happen like this over here. If you see if while it is analyzing, it is just tracking the motion of whatever is present in the video, whatever is going on in the video that is being tracked. So the full analyzation is done. Then after that, what you just can do is that here it is shown as link element. Over here it is none. You can import anything from your computer. So what you can do is that just go to the titles. If we like to add something, uh, just add a call outs. Okay, means you can see there are a lot of good titles that are present over here. Uh, let's go to uh, this one. Just place it over here like this increase the length to the length of the video just you can change in whatever is present in the title let's do it very quickly So now you can see that I just changed the name and for it over here you can just change it whatever name you want and after that what you can just do is that uh, just you can link it this whole element that you can see uh, let's just link it uh, first of all let's change the size of it according to the boxes okay now it's done what you can just do is that you can go to over here link element now just have to go with call out one now you can see this is the name of the call out it's written as call out one right you can just link the element to call out one now what you can just do is that move the whole element just decrease the size of it so that it will be looking properly now it's done so now if you just play the video, we can see that how it is being tracked. You can see along with wherever the person is going easily along with that, whatever is written in the text that is also going with that. So this was a very basic example of how to do motion tracking. Not only with one layer, you can put it to multiple layers as well. If there are two or uh, three things in the video as well, if you want to put uh, motion tracking on that, we can also easily do that. I will be explaining about it in my future videos. So please stay connected for that. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.